how to cancel your actual subscription from Shopify. This step-by-step -step tutorial, guys, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So, hey, everybody, I'm going to be doing this really, really quick, just in case that you don't like your subscription or you have any trouble with your Shopify. I can strongly suggest you to, first of all, contact the Shopify support so you can see you talking about and you can be having, like, a huge deal inquiries or you have any problem with those, guys. But... All right, so let's go into your settings section once you are inside Shopify, which is actually in here. There we go. So now what you want to do is to look out for the plan section, which appears in here. And you might be seeing all the information about your plans. In my case, I have a trial mode, next billing date. Your trial has three days remaining, payment method. There's no payment method added. In your case, it should be appearing a payment method in here. So if you try to delete the payment method, of course, it's not going to be available because you have already added that and you have to pay for the next billing date. But fortunately for us, what we can do is to choose the section that says deactivate your trial or deactivate your plan. So what's gonna happen here is that you can choose to deactivate your store and cancel this subscription to the trial plan. So what's gonna be happening here is that we're no longer gonna be receiving any kind of uh, billing section and all that. So you're not gonna be worrying about the payment method that you have added because your actual store is gonna be shut down automatically without any questions. Now, if I go into my account and I hit into manage the account, it's going to be popping up the general section where I can see all my digital information about my store. We can see view all stores, we can see the preferred language, and we can see the time zone. If I go ahead and look out for the security section, I want to scroll all my way down. And of course, I want to choose the authentication method and choose this that says off. If you have just in case the two-step authentication on, you want to leave this off. And you want to delete all the devices that you choose to access to your Shopify. With that being said, now you can just delete your account and then you're actually good to go. If you have any question, once again, you can always contact the support section of Shopify so they can be helping you to solve all the inquiries that you have about your account. So there you have it, guys. It was a really, really strong, easy tutorial. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I'll see you next time.